In this video, we'll describe three ways you can migrate data from third-party archives into Exchange, and some of the considerations for each method. Method 1 is to restore each user's archived items to their mailbox, and then migrate that mailbox to an in-place archive in Exchange Online, or an Exchange on-premises that features in-place archiving. With this method, it's important to make sure you have enough space for the additional data you plan to store in the archive. You should also ensure quotas on their mailbox and in-place archive are large enough that productivity is not affected. Method two is to export archive data to PST files. Exchange can then ingest those PST files using native tools. If you are using Exchange on-premises, you can use the PowerShell to ingest PST files efficiently. If you prefer a more user-friendly interface, or if you are migrating to Exchange Online, you can use the free PST Capture tool to help. Method 3 is to use one of the software tools available from Microsoft Partners. Many of these can also perform a direct migration from third-party archives into Exchange. You can find partner solutions on Microsoft Pinpoint. Regardless of which method you use, and before you perform any migration, set your exchange policies, such as email retention, to meet your archiving and business needs.